At the Saha 2024 exhibition, Makin V.E. Kimir Industrisi, MKE, the Turkish defense company renowned for producing the T-155 Fertina, introduced its advanced self-propelled artillery system, the Yavuz. This 155mm howitzer, mounted on a 6x6 truck chassis, was initially revealed at IDF 2017 by MKE's general manager, Ahmet Taskin, alongside key military officials. Yavuz's first test firing took place on April 18, 2017, in Konya, where it successfully struck targets up to 40 kilometers away. Drawing inspiration from systems like the French Caesar, the Yavuz combines mobility and firepower by utilizing a 6x6 truck chassis, enabling rapid repositioning and minimizing the risk of counter-battery fire. This makes it highly effective for mobile artillery support, allowing operators to remain farther from the front line while maintaining the ability to fire long-range ammunition. Powered by a Euro 5 diesel engine, the Yavuz can reach speeds of up to 90 km per hour on paved roads. With a combat weight of 32 tons and dimensions measuring 10.8 meters in length, 2.6 meters in width, and 4.1 meters in height, it offers significant versatility in difficult terrain. The vehicle is designed to ford waters up to 1 meter deep, cross 0.45 meter trenches, and climb steep gradients, making it well suited for a variety of operational environments. The Yavuz is equipped with a 155mm-52 caliber gun, offering substantial flexibility in target engagement across a range of distances. The system employs a semi-automatic, electrically driven loading mechanism that can fire a variety of ammunition types. Its standard loadouts include the M107 high-explosive round with a range of 18 km, the M549A1 high-explosive round capable of reaching 30 km, and the Mod 274 round extending the maximum range to 40 kilometers. One of the key advantages of the Yavuz is its compatibility with standard NATO 155mm ammunition, allowing operators to integrate the system seamlessly into various allied forces. The howitzer is capable of burst firing three rounds in 15 seconds and sustaining a rate of fire of four to six rounds per minute under normal conditions, or two rounds per minute in continuous operations. The total ammunition capacity on board is 18 rounds, giving it a considerable endurance in protracted engagements. Designed for speed and efficiency, the Yavuz can be prepared to fire in just one minute and can reposition within two minutes after completing its firing mission. This agility is critical in avoiding enemy retaliation. The system's fire control allows for engaging the same target with multiple rounds by adjusting the elevation and utilizing different propellant charges. The Yavuz is manned by a crew of five, accommodated in dual cabins that offer a degree of protection from various threats. Secondary armament includes a 12.7mm machine gun for self-defense, and the system is equipped with nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC protection, as well as anti-personnel mine protection, increasing the crew's survivability in hostile environments. The Yavuz has attracted international interest, particularly in Brazil. In January 2022, Brazil began its search for 36-wheeled self-propelled howitzers for its artillery division and mechanized brigade companies. By August 2023, Turkey as Yavuz was officially in contention for this procurement. Brazil is specifically seeking a mobile artillery system with a strike range of 40 kilometers, a requirement the Yavuz meets. In this competition, the Yavuz faces stiff challenges from other notable systems, including France's Caesar 155mm howitzer and Israel's Atmos 2000. However, with its impressive mobility, advanced fire control, and proven range, the Yavuz is a strong contender for this lucrative acquisition. The Yavuz self-propelled howitzer stands as a testament to Turkey's growing capabilities in defense manufacturing, combining advanced firepower with mobility and versatility. With features designed for modern warfare and the ability to engage targets at long distances, the Yavuz presents a formidable option for artillery units worldwide. As it competes on the global stage, its potential adoption by Brazil would not only mark a significant export success for Turkey, but also strengthen the artillery capabilities of any army that chooses to adopt it.